Hey guys, Jake, Jake Hoback Knives. Uh, just another edition of what's coming out of the Hoback Shop. Um, had this Marcario sitting around. Um, I did a run with uh, Low Tack Designs. Um, we just did one of them actually, uh, and I put that one out. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen that. That's my clean finish, and it's an orange peel with a uh, sandblast stone wash. Um, well, I talked to Raymond, and I wanted to cut out two because I wanted to keep one for myself. Um, so I popped this into a batch that I'm doing. I got an A10 and a couple of A8s that I'm working on, so I threw this in there while I was working on them. Um, I just got it done, and I decided that I'm going to sell it just so that we can uh, do a larger run with uh, Ghost on the boards, uh, Raymond. Um, so low tack Designs. Sorry, there's a bunch of names there. Um, so I figured I'd sell this and put it towards the... Uh, that project so we can do a few more because uh, both of us are a little tight on funds because I'm doing some big batches and a couple collaborations already so we've all been kind of cutting it close so I figured I'd put this up and uh, um, take a, that cut and uh, put it towards another run of these. Um, so this is a limited edition. Uh, they won't all look like this. I don't believe. I gotta talk to Raymond about it. Um, but yeah I just got this done. I wanted to do something kind of cool. Um, it's not very often that I do a real clean kind of nice looking finish. I usually do more of an industrial type look and this is the first time I've ever actually used orange on a folder. Um, I thought it turned out kind of cool kind of techno I don't know what you want to call it but uh, industrial looking alien who knows. Um, but it's S90V it's about 187,000 so 3 16 thick uh, bearing system, some polishing in here, quarter inch pivot, orange backspacer, did some milling on here. Um, pretty cool little knife. I, first time I've ever done a large clip. I thought it turned out kind of neat. And it runs on standoffs instead of having a bunch of bends in there. So there's just two bends and then the standoffs hold it away. Clips to the pocket really nice. Um, and unfortunately with the this titanium it's not thick enough to run my HRD system so it's just got a standard D10 in there. Um, but yeah. There's a low tack designs logo and then mine on the opposite side. You can see in, inside the milling when you open it, two of two. This is the second prototype. So it's all sandblashed. There's no stone wash on these ones. Um, I just was shooting for real clean. So, sorry about the noise guys. I had to come outside so I had some good lighting. It seems kind of dark in the house today. You'll probably be seeing some more work from me and Raymond. Um, I'm gonna be doing, I think we're doing some more folders, a couple of axes and some fixed blades and stuff like that. So we're putting some stuff together, boys. So keep a lookout. Have a good one, guys.